Apple recently released a new app called Apple Music Classical, and it's caused some confusion, with people wondering why Apple made a separate app, if it costs extra, and how managing two music apps even works. Well, the Classical app is free for Apple Music subscribers, and it was created to solve problems that are unique to the classical music genre. You see, modern songs have fairly short titles, while classical works have detailed titles to describe several aspects of the song, like the composition type, for example, symphony, partita, or in this case, sonata. The number represents the 14th sonata written by that composer. Then there's the key signature and any featured instruments. This naming structure is not only completely different from modern music, but it's also highly variable. This title is considered generic, but there can also be non-generic titles for the same song, as well as non-numeric titles. So you can imagine how complicated it might be to search for a piece that goes by several different names. And to complicate things even further, that piece was likely recorded by hundreds of different artists, something that doesn't happen with modern music. So searching for a specific classical piece in Apple Music would be quite clumsy, which is why Apple purchased a third-party app called Prime Phonic in 2021 and used it to develop their own classical app, which allows users to search for a particular work, composer, conductor, or catalog number, and view a neatly organized profile highlighting all available recordings by various artists, a detailed description of the piece, and related works. Whereas searching for the same thing in the Apple Music app would provide an unorganized list of results that's frustrating to navigate. But what about having two different music libraries in two different apps? Well, it's actually one library that automatically syncs when new music is added. In the classical app, you can only see the classical songs in your library, and no matter which app you're using, adding new classical songs will automatically sync with the other respective app. So while having a completely separate app for just classical music may sound inconvenient, it's actually crucial for searching, exploring, and discovering classical music in a way that's much easier than before. This is Greg with Apple Explained. Thanks for watching till the end, and I'll see you in the next video.